In this episode of Motive Garage, presented by Spares Box, we send our GR Yaris off to AGI so they can develop some new roll cage options. We've got the Toyota GR Yaris in. It's the first time we've had this particular make and model in here. So yeah, we're quite excited by it. We think it's going to be a great little pocket rocket. And uh, for everything from Jim Carners through to Target, Tasmania, through to Bathurst, whatever you, you, know, whatever you want to do. So um, we're quite excited by this, you know, this, this little turbo four-wheel drive rocket. We've employed our new resources to uh, design and, and manufacture this roll cage, which was to you know, get the vehicle in, 3D scan it. Um, so we'd scan it with the seats in, scan it with the seats out, take certain amounts of trim in and out of the vehicle, scan again, generate a model in SolidWorks. Then our engineer would design the roll cage. We'd actually go straight to the CNC tube cutter. We'd cut it, we'd CNC bend it. We'd start offering up components in the vehicle. And once we're happy with the actual physical roll cage members, we'd tack them together, make sure we're happy in the vehicle, get them out, put them on a jig, jig the, the, the structure, and then yeah, we can go straight to a completed product. To design a new product, we'd normally like to see the, the, the vehicle here for about two weeks. Uh, it doesn't take two weeks, but so there'll be a little bit of back and forth. Yeah, we'll scan it, we'll, we'll CAD design it, we'll look at the design, um, see if there's any improvements we can make, and then um, yeah, then we'll get it back to the customer, finished product. Some of the un unique challenges of, of the Yaris is, uh, one, it's a small vehicle, and the smaller the vehicle, the harder it is to design a roll cage for, because you, you have to match maximize every millimetre involved. If it was a big sedan, you know, you can have some, you know, you got a little bit more leeway, but because it's a small three-door hatch, you've really got to maximise all the space available. And then you've, you've got other complications like asymmetric wheel, wheel arches, particularly with a smaller vehicle as well, because you've got a, uh, a fuel hatch and a fuel filler neck that normally gets in the way as well. So, uh, yeah, one wheel arch might be up here and the other one's down there. So you've got to you get, get around those issues. And that's, that's one of the challenges we have with this particular vehicle. To, to begin with, we looked at the, the rear wheel arches as a point to fix the, the back stays, but it wasn't that straightforward. One, because they were asymmetric, and two, because there was a lot going on under the wheel arch as well. So we actually found some fixed points where the rear upper seat cushion goes, and they're, they're structural, so just behind the rear seat there. So we picked up off those points, and um, yeah, we're quite happy with what we've ended up there. That'd be great for most of our clients who are a little bit more picky about uh, what they modify or what they don't have to modify. One of the other complications with the, with the Yaris, and again, it relates to how small the vehicle is, is is the, the, the seating position and the, and the size of the seat. You know, so a stock seat is a very big, you know, sort of item you've got in the vehicle there. But and there is a massive difference between that and a race seat. So you might have double diagonals through the main hoop, which might be slightly compromised with a uh, traditional or a, a standard seat. But then when you put a race seat in it, you gain another three or four inches, so it's not a problem at all. So you've got to you've got to weigh that up between stock seat and race seat. But if you're going to a full roll cage anyway, you know, you, sh you should have a racing seat in the vehicle. Um, so the size of that you know, won't be as much of an issue. Someone was adamant they had to have the factory seat in the vehicle. It's not a problem. I mean, we can move the, the double X cross member from the hoop into the, uh, the backstay area, which, which, is, you know, which is compliant for, for motorsport, certainly at a, an entry level. Once we get to a national level uh, competition like a tarmac rally, it has to have the diagonals in all the areas, the hoop, the backstays, the roof section, the whole bit. For owners of the Yaris who are taking it seriously, uh, you're going to have a race seat in this vehicle for a number of reasons. You know, one is safety. Uh, also, you've got the crutch point in, in the race seat, whereas uh, no stock seat has a crutch point. Um, so, you know, if, if you're putting a full six-point harness in the vehicle, you're going to have a race seat anyway, and that allows more room around the seat. For the Aris this time, uh, we, we've done the entry-level four-point, and we've also done, you know, the higher-level tarmac rally cage, which is a national-level six-point, which has got diagonals in the roof, diagonals in the hoop, diagonals in the backstays, windscreen pillar reinforcement bars, double door bars. All those X's as well will have gussets around it, so we've gone from one extreme to the other. So, and then we can, we can, uh, you can option up any anywhere in between the two. So, yeah, we can cover everything you need. Word got out that we were developing a tarmac rally cage and it was sold before we finished the first one. So, yeah, quite excited by uh, this new product. I think they'll be very uh, popular for Targo. Yeah, for the price point uh, and it's turbocharged and four-wheel drive, I think it, it's going to be a great little tarmac rally car for sure. For the half cage we're fitted to the Motive GR Yaris out here, it's very reversible. Yeah, we had to drill a number of holes for the main hoop.
hoop, but we can also put, supply rubber bungs to fill those holes back up. But the carpet folds back over that and the underbody trim goes on, on the underside as well. So for the back stays, there was no modifications there. The back quarter trims, a little slight mod, but uh, yeah, very little modification. Rear modification for the back stays, once the rear seats go back in, you would never notice for sure. While the car was here, we also developed a, a race seat mounting plate. It allows a race seat from a number of brands, uh, Velo, Sparco, OMP, to bolt down to our race seat conversion kit, then which bolts down to the four existing points in the floor. The new roll cage uh, kits from the half cage through the national cage uh, are available to order right now. <laughs>